The U.S. Department of Defense recently released its annual report on China's military power. And one of the main conclusions was that China is rapidly building one of the world's strongest submarine fleets. The People's Liberation Army Navy now possesses 50 conventional attack submarines and 12 nuclear models. Six of the nuclear ones are Type 094 submarines that can launch up to 12 JL-2 nuclear ballistic missiles. So this means China can now launch nuclear strikes from beneath the waves. And that puts it on a very short list of nations that can do this. This is a list that previously included only France, India, Russia, the US, the UK, and probably Israel. Submarine nuclear launch capability is extremely important because it significantly reduces the chances that a nation's nuclear weapons could be wiped out in a single strike. That's because if a country with this capability is attacked by another nuclear country, its hidden submarines would be able to retaliate against the attacker. So these submarines are one of the big reasons why we've never seen one of the nuclear armed powers try to defeat one of their nuclear armed enemies with an overwhelming first strike. So this represents a major advance for the Chinese Navy. And this new report notes that in addition to a nuclear deterrence, China's increasing focus on submarines is also intended to help the country achieve maritime superiority within the first island chain. This term describes the chain of islands that extend from Japan down to Indonesia, and the Chinese feel that it's critical for them to control everything between China and this first island chain, and that includes the South China Sea. That's the strategically vital sea that has been called the world's most valuable commercial artery. And with China's fleet of submarines growing so rapidly, they'll be able to tighten their grip on this crucial waterway much more. The U.S. Navy, meanwhile, is in decline. In late 2016, the U.S. Navy said that it needed 66 operational attack submarines in order to be able to maintain its undersea uh, military advantage over rivals such as China. But as of mid-2019, it only had 51. Writing for National Interest in April, David Axe noted that if current trends persist, America's submarine shortfall will only get worse in the years ahead, especially since there's an inadequate number of American shipyards. When placed in the context of Bible prophecy, the increasing might of China's navy compared to America's, including the quickly tipping scales of submarine power, is deeply significant. And that's largely because of the increasing ability that it gives China to control the area that we mentioned a moment ago, the South China Sea. China's tightening grip on this vital trade route is something that Trumpet Editor-in-Chief Gerald Flurry has said is steering the world toward war. Mr. Flurry places this in the context of Bible prophecy by pointing to a passage in Deuteronomy 28 verse 52. In this passage, God warns the nations of Israel, which are mostly the modern United States and United Kingdom, that if they reject him and reject his law, then he will hand control over the world's strategic sea gates and sea lanes to their enemies. And it's clear that China's rapidly expanding naval might, including its rapidly growing submarine fleet, shows that this prophecy is in the process of being fulfilled in the South China Sea. To understand these prophecies and the profound hope that's tied to them, please read Mr. Flurry's article, China is Steering the World Toward War, and order his free booklet, Ezekiel, the End Time Prophet.